Hello, this is Julie, back again to talk about creating SVG files from Studio Designs, from the Silhouette Studio Store. Sometimes when we get files, they don't work like we think they should. If you don't have the Designer Edition 1.9 or 2.0, you would need to fill the shapes with color in order to do a screen capture and then trace them in your software. By selecting a design and then clicking on the, the fill bucket at the top of the screen then clicking on black, we can fill in a design. We can select the designs. We should be able to fill them in. And then we could trace them if we had to. However, with 1.9 or 2.0 Designer Edition, we don't need to fill them at, at all. Um, but sometimes we run into the problem that this file has when you select it, and then you try to fill it, and it won't fill. Well, you notice there's a little square in the right-hand corner of this design that shows that the lines are broken there. There's also a square around the flower edge, and these two broken points make it so that the shape won't fill. The color just leaks out if you try to fill it in. Now, the design will still cut, but it doesn't look right, and it won't fill in order to do a trace. Now, I can save this file to make the cut and fix it, so I thought maybe I would do that to show you how will I fix this file and make the cut once I get it there. I don't have to fill these shapes, but if I do fill them, they'll be filled in and make the cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go to File and Save As, type in the name of the design, type a period, SVG, and this design will save on my desktop as an SVG. So then I can open Make the Cut, a new project, and I can go to either the SVG icon at the top of the screen to import the SVG, or I can go to File, Import, SVG, or I could use the shortcut key control shift Z, but I'll just click on this for right now. Then I'm going to double click on the SVG file and bring it in and you notice everything that was filled in the Silhouette Studio is now filled and make the cut. And the places where those broken lines appeared have little X's on them so you can see where the path is broken. Now. Um, one thing we can do when we have a shape like this that has broken lines is um, first I want to remove the score line to its own layer by clicking on it and then going to the lower right hand corner and clicking on the smaller of the two green plus icons to send that score line to its own layer and then I'm going to hide it by clicking on the eye icon on that top layer that has the score line. Now the score line is hidden and if I have a shape that will not fill and make the cut I can select the entire shape then I can go down to the bottom and use the join icon or use control plus J to join all the pieces together and you notice that the X's disappeared that just means that all these shapes are joined but they are still um, not able to fill be filled yet. Once joined I can click on the wrench icon in the lower right corner and click on fuse and weld and then I'll move this slider and the fuse and weld window all the way over to the right and click on apply. When I do that it closes those lines that were open automatically. Then I can change that to a lighter color if I want to make it a little bit easier to to see and I can open the score line and now my design 
is ready to use. I see up here in this design here, I'm not sure if the shape is filled or not. It seems like like it's okay. I could change this. I'm going to send it to its own layer and maybe change this to green. But you see this little triangle here that's not filled? That indicates to me that there is another broken path right in there, lines that don't connect. And again, all I need to do is select it and then go to the wrench icon and choose Fuse and Weld. The slider is already moved over to the right and click on Apply and you notice that the little white hole now is filled in. So anytime you have a shape, first of all you have to join it. You can do that using Control plus J or clicking on the Join icon at the bottom of the screen with the de design selected. Once it's joined, you can go to the advanced menu where the wrench is and select Fuse and Weld. On a rare occasion, I may need to click Optimal if, if moving the slider to the right and apply doesn't close the open shape, or I can click Optimal. And uh, usually the Fuse and Weld will um, resolve the problem. If I go to the node editing toolbar by clicking on the figure 8 in the upper left corner and I click on the Bezier Draw tool, it will show any open paths. Now if we look down here you'll notice, oh there's a green dot here and there's a green dot here. This means that there are stray marks there that are, are not needed for this design. There's also a green dot at the end of each end of the score line, which is okay. But the dots, green dots that are here and here indicate stray lines. The shape has filled, so we know that these stray lines are not needed for anything. So we can get rid of those by clicking on the top arrow and then selecting that stray line and just hitting delete. Now we had another stray line in this area, but I joined them. So I will use the split or control P to deselect that and you notice that a little line appeared up here that we don't need. Now that would cut and we don't we don't need an extra cut there, so we select it and click on delete and now that's gone and we have a, a cleaner cut without those stray marks. So um, these are just some little things that I do once I get an SVG file in to make the cut. It might need a little cleanup and I always put the score lines on a separate layer so that I can change them by going to using the color box and then line style so I can change them to um, have more space between the lines or I can change them to a solid line if I want to use a scoring tool. In Make the Cut uh, it works to have the score lines separate and then if there's any other changes I need to make for example, if all of these flowers are going to be the same color, I might join them together and send them to their own layer. And this way, if I export it to another program to cut, then these will all be joined together as a unit. That's not always necessary, but sometimes it's easier to have like designs join together. Thank you for watching. Till we meet again. Bye.